Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we'll be working on a new question. The question name is reverse string word wise and let's see what is the question. So from the name you can guess the question. The question is we are given a string. Uh, let's do it right now. Okay, we have a string. Let's take this. So we have a string. I am best. So we have a string and let's close this and then uh, we need to print the string from the backwards. So the first thing will be best M I. So we need to start from here and need to print till the end of our, till the starting of an array. You need to start from the end and uh, finish to the starting of an array so the output will be best mi so let's take an another example just for a uh, proper understanding so if it's a m the so it will be the m so let's see the question on the coding ninjas first so reverse string word voice and you can see the question over here and let's see in which companies this question has been asked so this has been asked in amazon the mi and many other companies uh, it has also asked in intel tcs okay great let's try to solve this question so reverse the given string word wise the last word in the given string should come as the first place the second last word should come at the second place and so an individual word should remain as it is so let's get started and you can see welcome to coding ninjas here is the first input so the output is ninjas coding to welcome always indent your code code your indent always so they are writing it in a reverse order so let's go back to our notes and let's try to make a code uh, let's try okay so it's very easy we are given a string so i am best we'll find the length of this string first let's take this as string we'll find the length of the string uh, after finding the length of the string we'll start from ending so we'll use a for loop from end to zero and then we'll store it, it in answer so let's declare answer over here which will be an empty string so answer is equal to answer plus string of string of for elastic x so what it will do it will just append so for the uh, for the first iteration it will be this plus string of n let's suppose n is 3 so it will be going to 2 which is n minus 1 so it will be best so the answer equal to best now it will go for the second iteration which is uh, here we went for two now it will go for one one string one so you have string over here i am best so this is done now the iteration comes to here to m which is zero one two on the first index so it will be uh, so let's make a small correction over here here we will have an answer because answer is passed over here you can see answer plus string x so we get the answer from the previous value so we'll put answer plus string of one it will be best bluff string of one which is best plus string of one is m so our answer is
best m let's go for the last iteration and for the last iteration it's for zero index so it will be as usual answer plus string of zero we have answer which is best m and string of zero is i so the answer is best m i so we got the answer and at last we'll return answer so you can see uh, so let me write a code for you so uh, here we have a string which is algo tag is best uh, so we are using python so let's use python and then we'll convert first we'll split this string in uh, in python so we'll let's take split s which is uh, let's split this Oh, okay uh, let's erase this uh, let's st string dot split okay we have split the string in for e for each words and then we'll find the length so let's take n length split of s here we will find we'll get the length then we'll run a loop for okay for x in range from n minus 1 to minus 1 and it should be decrement for minus 1 i mean one value so it will start from the last index which will go to the first of index which will be 0 and then it will decrement a value by 1 which is minus 1 and then we'll put answer so let's declare answer over here we have not declared the answer let's declare so answer equal to answer plus split of s which is x and then we'll give some spacing after the answer and then at last outside for loop will return answer okay so this takes order of n which is order of length of the string length of string so which is approximately order of n so let's try to uh, see the output on coding ninjas so let's switch to the screen so let's get started for the code and i have written the code on the screen you can see and I've also added uh, some of the code for handling the edge cases. So if the array length, or sorry, if the string length is equal equal to one, we'll return the string as it is. If the string length is less than one, we'll return minus one. And else, if it's greater than one, we'll go into the else condition. And then this is the same which I have taught you in the notes and let's try to run this code uh, okay so you can see it passes all the test cases and let's try to submit and yeah so it's a correct answer all the test cases have been passed you can see it's submitted two minutes ago so yeah so guys if you have any issues feel free to just comment in our comment box and uh, i'm telling you again a solution a problem can has a can have a multiple solutions so you can write solution in many ways so this is not the only solution you can write a more optimized solution better than this this is for everyone to understand easily so guys for today this uh, this is much thank you so much